Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for Friday, December 4th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. You gotta love sports. The Packers are down 20 to nothing. And here we go with the bad beats of all time. And that's okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now, every time there's a bad beat, you can't just throw out. That's the worst beat I've ever seen. Move over. And people have the Belk Bowl up there, the Duke game, that's fine. Last year, Bahamas Bowl, Western Kentucky, up 49 to 14 against Central Michigan, laying two or three, depends where you shop. 12 minutes left in the game, they win by one. They stopped a two point, and that's the thing. Stopped a two point conversion. They were going for the win. You still could have won the game or covered if you had Western Kentucky because it was going to overtime. Central Michigan went for the win. 49-14, 12 minutes left. You're laying two or three. You win by one. Outscored 35 to nothing. They still led it by, uh, it was, I think it was 49-21 with three minutes left. Okay, in any event, how about the finish? Blatant P.I. On, on Detroit. No call. Packers bench is going bananas. How do you not throw the flag there? How oh, Mike Carey again? That guy, that guy's never right, Mike Carey. Oh, good night call. Looking back for the ball, and he's, it's a New York City mugging. Then that wasn't a face mask. There's a former NFL official who tweeted, uh, there was no grab or twist, bad call. Well, so he, you know, he grazed the face mask. He didn't grab onto it. Then all hell breaks loose. You got to knock it down. How about you, you, do, how about you blitz Rodgers and send some people? These, why are there only five guys in the end zone for Detroit? John Anderson said it too on SportsCenter. Where's Megatron? The Vikings used to put Randy Moss back there to knock it down. You're rushing three guys and there's only five guys to knock it down? Rodgers to Rodgers? I mean, he's just, bam, easy. I mean, wasn't that hard? Oh, what a comeback. Disaster for Detroit. They were, you know, they still needed a lot of help, but still, five and seven. That would have been a, 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 an interesting story. And Green Bay looked pathetic. For three quarters, they come away with a win. No P.I., then the face mask, just like Baltimore and Jacksonville, keeps it alive, bam, touchdown, 8-4. and four. What? And, and oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm burying the lead. Detroit and under becomes Green Bay and over. Oh, man, bad result for the books, but the players deserve one there. Time to tell you what I'm betting. Two big featured pro picks up at pregame.com. Greg Shaker, a three-star total, a big play Saturday night in college football, 37-19 on the regular season. That's a three-star you must have along with Dave Esler, who's got a three-star. Uncle Dave has got a college football championship title game Saturday as well. Two picks you must have up there at pregame.com. We couldn't give you that hidden gem today. The pros couldn't agree on a game, so we are back Saturday. The pick is already up. We go for four in a row with a college football game. We like this one a lot. Good writer from the pros. They, a good uh, analysis as well. Let's make it four in a row Saturday in college football. Let's keep the winning streak going. And as always, the free play, college hoops, UNLV against Oregon. We like it over UNLV and Oregon. In the, it's at the MGM, not the Thomas and Mac. That's the free play today. The radio show, Fezzik, Malinsky. We run down the entire NFL card and the key College football games will go rapid fire. You don't want to miss it. If you can't listen live, check out the podcast. They do a great job of having that up in less than an hour after showtime, and we're on at 10 Pacific. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll talk to you Saturday for Championship Saturday in college football on pregame.com.